that I shouldn't have, but never forgot it though. Brothers on the corner selling crack like it was not a though. Walk inside my kitchen, baking soda all up on the floor. Cody's banging on the Yo, what it is, YouTube friends and family. It's Aceduct, as you may or may not know, and I'm back with some more my crew for you. Uh, just finished up uh, getting my next attribute cap, and as you can see here, for this one, my passing, my steals, and my lateral quickness went up uh, by one point. So, honestly, right now, as it looks, if I want to get my steals up one, it's 1500. My passing is 1750, and my lateral quickness is 1500. So, I can, and once I get all these up, I am still an 86. I don't go up anymore. But, um, I think I'm going to go with the passing because it's the most expensive. And we're going to get that passing up one, and then I will come back and do the steals and lateral quickness. So, I just wanted to show that, that I'm getting more upgrades. The upgrades are coming slowly but surely. I do have enough, actually, to get one more. So, why don't we grab the steals... So we'll get some more defense up, and then once we hit 1,500 again, we'll get this lateral quickness. Um, also wanted to show you guys a update on my badges. This is how my as like my points per game and stuff right now. Teammate chemi teammate chemistry is at 70% now. Uh, my this is my badge update. I have relentless finisher, ankle breaker, and posterizer, and dimer all bronze. I have those now. I'm working on getting those up to silver. Uh, so things I'm close to, pick and roll maestro, I'll probably have that this next game because I'll definitely be running some pick and rolls. Um, over halfway on free throw ace, which I'm going to go work on before the game. I'm going to work on some badges before this next game. And uh, one man fast break, I'm halfway there. And yeah, so I should be getting some more badges here soon. Can't wait to get ankle breaker and posterizer to at least silver, man. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but for now, I'm going to go and work on these badges, and then we're going to get into this next game against Houston, man. It's a big game. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be recording mostly the key games and the fun games. Um, I might record this. Uh, this next game I record is probably either going to be this Boston game or, yeah, probably the Boston game because I don't want to record two Houston games in a row. But as you can see, we're 9-4. and four. Rockets are 9-3, and three, and we are actually... On, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six game win streak. So we're trying to keep this win streak going, man. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. In this game, we'll see the Indiana Pacers against the Houston Rockets. Taking a look at the Rockets, it's been an ideal start to their regular season. So often you see teams plodding through the early part of the schedule, trying to find the right lineup combinations and the playing style that suits them. That has not been the case with them. They've been hitting on all cylinders since day one. Big game for DJ last time out, went for 30. What do you guys expect for a follow-up performance? Man, look. The way he was dropping it, <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if he does that again. I think it's it's going to be consistent. All you have to do is give him the touches, and this guy gets it done. Yeah, he gets it done, but at times it looked a little selfish. You just hope he remembers to play in the flow of the offense. I don't really want to see him out there forcing things. However, 30 points is pretty good. Now we send you to Kevin Harlan as they get ready for the opening tip. There are no buttons. B. That's why we got it. It just talk, just talk to it. Like talk to it like a person. Right. Yes. For real, yo, yo, up, yo, Mr. Toilet. Ow! DJ, oh, that's that's fresh, back, man. Man. Oh, that's that oh, DJ, that's that, that movie. Crazy, man. B. DJ, B. DJ, B. DJ, that's why movie. we got the toilet. Yo, the toilet. All right, like so we can the talk to it. Meaning of life, man. What's B Fresh really about to be up to? Yo, toilet. What came first, the chicken or the egg? You know what I'm saying? But who crossed the street? Hey, B. Who done crossed the street? Hey, B. B. I Yo, gotta go, it. man. I got a, I got a game Yo. I gotta prep for. DJ, you still there? What's wrong with you? Why are you listening to me? Use the bathroom, you nasty. Man, peace. All right, peace. DJ, I thought you'd never get done with that call, man. Come on. What do you think? All right, all right. Well, what was that move you were doing? Because I might do that in the fast break. What was that? Right. It's like, pray man. Pray man's hands. Okay. You gotta go low a little. 
and then move the hips. Okay. All right. Oh, you getting it? You yeah, getting stiff, it? Stiff DJ. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't Come on, let's nah, try again. That wasn't it. Okay. So, nah, nah. I'm just going to miss me on that one. All right, bro. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Nice try, bro. As you can see, I am in the starting lineup. That is bright. I am playing starter minutes. James Harden is dancing before the game. This is a hella matchup, man. And we are at home. We are at home. So this has to be the biggest fight we put up this season, man. We're on a six-game win streak. We need to keep it going. So that you have a chance to adjust so let's see what we can too. do you win the tip you win the game come on miles get this tip get this tip Rockets win the tip Ooh. Look and look at, at me already faulting on defense Rockets. already the two pillars of this team all right so Chris we're gonna have to figure out how to contain James Harden this whole is game. with Capella and it's Ariza in at the small forward position as to Harden look he's already getting screen James Harden's putting the moves on already Chris Paul popping a three and it's bad. I'm off. We're racing down the court. James Harden trying to keep up with me. I see Bogdanovich. And it's wide open for the easy assist. I've got Chris Paul on me. I have to take advantage of this. And I get stripped by James Harden. No reaching call. And he turns around. He turns around to look at the bench when he makes that three. Wow. James Harden is being a savage right now. I should take this inside. Let's go. The poster on Ryan Anderson. Get in my ooh. Ouch. That's got to hurt some pride right there. Don't do anything stupid. Good steal by Miles Turner. And a fast break now for the Pistons. Oladipo hits me. I slam it. Let's go. That's what we need. We need a momentum booster. Now here comes the run. Now we're going to make a run. Let's go. D up. No easy buckets. That's Eric Gordon. I'm on it. Inside. Oh, my Lord. We could have had that steal. Instead, Al Jefferson had to foul him. That's Nene, though. That's Nene, though. He can't shoot. I got him in the air. Let's go. Post move score. Eric Gordon, he can't stay with me. I have to make those. His philosophy really clicks with players. They're comfortable. Let's go. There we go. They know their responsibility. See, they said they took they off the shot meter for layups this year. Hey, hey, but when you go into practice and you're shooting point. layups, you yeah, still get the slightly pressure. early, slightly they late. Really you still get a shot time. And why is Trevor Reza open? Oh, my like God. All right, let's catch up with our sideline um, David but you still get shot timing. So they might have took the meter out. But you still have to time your layups. That's why everybody's getting pissed off. Like, why am I missing so many open layups? Coach it's because you still got to time them. We have some good individual defenders. If the rest of them just try, well, that's the Collison with the terrible shot. Okay, move on. It was a good shot. And why am I not getting that rebound? I have Gordon boxed out, man. I have him boxed out. And of course I get the reach in foul. This is insane. Thank you, Kevin. Another quick start here in this first half. What has been the key the last few games? Oh, D.A., you know, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of getting me in a rhythm early on in the game. Uh, if I get a few touches early on, you know, I feel more engaged, and it just it builds from there. I mean, this whole team does a great job of believing in one another and setting each other up for success. Well, so far, so good tonight. Thanks. Guys, back to you. Problem. They'll keep feeding P.J. Tucker on the block until we give him a reason to stop. I want us fronting P.J. Tucker. Be active and deny the entry pass. Why are we talking about P.J. Tucker when Trevor Ariza has been scoring his fucking ass off? But apparently P.J. Tucker's having a good game too. Defense is what's killing Like that. Defense is what's killing us. They t and then why is he open? Nobody wants to switch or play defense. I can't do anything about that. And Ariza is going to pull up again. And of course he hits it. What is out? Trevor Ariza is out of his mind. There, I get by Chris Paul. Okay. 
That's what I'm talking about. I should be able to body Chris Paul if he's on me. If Chris Paul is on me, I should be able to body his ass. Good block. My, that should have been a block. All right, let's go. Come on. We got to run in transition. That's what we need to do. Set a screen. Definitely bothered the shot. Young, a screen on heart. Good screen. The pass to Collison. Couldn't get anything Turner off it. Miles screen. Turner set a screen. Allison yeah, in the put post. It up. Defended by Paul. I got the rebound. And See, look at that. Now we have Some another nice offensive possession. Indiana. Reset it. Oh, give me the ball. I'm going inside. Kick Bottom it to Miles. To Miles, kick it back. Bottoms, Capella covering. Okay, let's reset. I'm going to set a screen. Paul against Collison. Oh, now Turner I'm going to cut. A screen for Collison. He lobbed it? Why would you lob that, Collison? That is a terrible lob, Collison. See, they're trying to get Trevor Reza open for these catch and shoots. And I'm not having it. Yes, Miles Turner gets the... Why? What? What is that CPU? And one, but god damn, that CPU logic, bruh. Why would you do that? Okay. In this type of situation where I play, I rotate out because you decided to play top side of the screen. So I rotate out. You end up getting the steal. Good steal. All right, you're at half court. Nobody is in front of you. Everybody is behind you, Miles. Every single person. And what do you do? Pass it to Collison, who has Chris Paul ahead of him right on his tail that is the worst cpu logic i have ever seen yet collison was able to get the n1 thank god but worst cpu logic i have ever seen so i have come to the conclusion now with five minutes to go in the third quarter that this ladies and gentlemen is garbage time we could come back it's a possibility but at this rate, and I, yeah, at this rate, it's just not going to happen. And we get a steal, okay. Fast break. Okay. One-on-one -on -one versus Ariza. I did not want the left hand, okay. I went right. I wanted the right hand, but it forced me left. So I don't know why that happened, but I made the shot, so we'll take it. And wow, he just rolls the rim. Damn. James Harden is not fucking around. Look at this. Look at Wells struggling. Struggling. And look at the rebound attempt. The CPU, dude. Oh, my Lord. It's almost impossible to play games, play these type of games sometimes because of what the CPU does. And I'm reversing. On this man, come here, my boy. Come here, my boy. All right, look, this is Chris Paul. This is Chris Paul. Look at this. I should be able to body Chris Paul in the paint every time. I should be able to have that every time. Chris Paul should not be able to guard me down there. I'm 6'5", 240. I'm way too big for him. No way. Wow, man. He's averaging 11 assists a game. Come in here. And one. This posterizer badge has been insane since I got it. Let's go. Give me that. Give me that. 25 points. I'm on fire now. Here we go. We're coming back. Watch. Watch. We got it under 20. Let's go. Then guard up, bruh. Then guard up. Ooh, yeah. Boban. Bang. Let's go. Oh, no. And Boban gets hurt. Wow. Boban hurts his ankle on the three-pointer. He ends up making the three, which is insane. But now Boban... The, oh, no. Who are we subbing in? It looks like... Wow, and Ariza's open again. Nobody can stop Ariza right now. Wells has come in for Boban. I'm driving in! Oh, wow! The dunk that could have been. And James Harden's going to pull up and nail that. Wow. 
the dunk that could have been an insane poster on Ryan Anderson, man. Ooh, look at me. Put the moves on James. I wanted to go to Miles Turner. Wow. Now go to Miles. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted the first time. And I didn't get it. But it's going to be a GG. Great game. Very competitive. We came back in the final like two minutes. Like late enough. But God, what a game. God, what a game. I'm going to check the game stats real quick. I had 31 points. 12 of 23 shooting. I had to try and do something, man. I had to try and do something. 7 of 9 free throws, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 turnovers. Ew. James Harden had 21, along with Trevor Ariza. Chris Paul had 17 of his own, 8 for 20 shooting, 9 assists, 15 from Eric Gordon. There's just no way to stop an onslaught like that. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's see how badge progression goes. We got four in the contact dunks. So that's 1,200 more for posterizer, which is nice. Uh, strong finishes. More for relentless finisher. Almost halfway to get it to silver. Over halfway on ankle breaker, which is nice. Some more for dimer. Oh, yeah. Defensive stopper is one I really want to get because it would help me out a lot on the defensive end. 7-9 free throws. Get that free throw ace up some more. 4,000 away from that. Then we're going to get all of our good multipliers here. And it's going to bring us up to about 21%. 942 BC this game. Up to over 300,000 fans now. Man, hey. You got your numbers at least. Man, I don't care about the numbers. I wanted that W. That's where you got it wrong. I mean, we all want the win, yeah. But don't get down on your numbers, son. Boo Boo, tell them how I approach. Hmm. GTS, get those stats, Listen bro. To them, man. Are y'all serious right now? That's actually your advice to me? Get those stats? Um, GTS, fam. Y'all crazy. Man, get those stats. How I see it, I'm here to get my numbers. If I don't, the team won't win. If I get my nut and we still don't win, that's on y'all. Oh, wow, I did my man. part. What you laughing at? I'm serious. I know. That's why it's funny. But if it was funny, Boo Boo would be laughing too. And I ain't laughing, bro. He ain't laughing. Miss me with that GTS stuff. <laughs> I that wasn't like that when I was a rookie. Like you was like that a little bit, yeah. Really? I'm trying to get some new kicks, man. Yeah, man. Hey, I saw some new ones that just came out. Really? Ready to go? Yes, ma'am. He's talking to DJ. Oh, man. Bro, I'm so not looking forward to this. Good luck, bro. DJ, who was the guy you patterned your game after? Great question, man. I'm a, I'm a student of the game. I don't really just look at one guy. So I look at LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan, uh, Scottie Pippen, Steve Nash. I mean, even outside of basketball. I look at dudes like Floyd Mayweather for boxing. I mean, Roger Federer. His sense of balance is crazy, man. You know, I'm always doing things that'll just give me an edge. Anyone? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, I'll go. DJ, you guys seem to come apart at the end of the game. Was it miscommunication? Mistakes? We just didn't execute, all right? That's it. Period. Point blank. We killed ourselves. That's all I gotta say. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video, man. Six-game win streak comes to an end. Uh, as you can see, I tried. We tried as hard as we could. It just nobody could score. Four for eleven from Carlson, three for seven from Boban, who ended up getting injured. 
and just nobody could score, man. It was ridiculous. Three for seven from Wells, two for seven from Miles Turner. It was just insane. And how do you stop an onslaught like that? 21, 21, 17, 15? It's really hard. But uh, like I said, next game I record will probably be this Boston game and then uh, the Houston game since it's televised. And then we got some pretty good games coming up. We got uh, Cleveland coming up. We got an OKC game, another Boston game. So I've got a lot to record here. Uh, as you can see, Cavs are 7-6 and six actually. So uh, And OKC are 9-4, and four, so this should be a pretty good battle. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Join the Ask Dark Darmody today. Don't miss out on any of these videos in the future. Uh, comment uh, some new apparel you think I should buy for my player. Uh, it can be like specific, like this specific headband or these specific shoes. Or you can, you know, just comment, hey, you should get a headband, get an arm sleeve, get some shoes. Things like that. And uh, I will have some park gameplay coming up. Um, Probably not soon. I'm trying to really grind. So um, once I get to probably like maybe a 90, 91 and I have my badges a bit better, I'll do some park stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.